In this lesson for trigonometry in triangles, we are going to have a look at the cosine rule. In the first lesson, we had a look at the sin rule. Today, we are moving on to the cos or cosine rule, and it is named like this because the cos ratio is part of the formula. If we have a look at the rest of the formula, you will see that all three sides form part of the cos rule, A, B and C as well as one angle, and in our example's case, that is angle A. So just like in the sin rule, here we have four variables in the cos rule, meaning you need information about three of them so that you can solve the fourth one. So if we want to solve side A or determine side A's length, this means we will need side B, side C, as well as angle A in between these two sides. So the first case where you can use the cos rule is when you want to determine a side length and you have the other two sides as well as the angle in between which we call the included angle. The second case where you can use the cos rule is when you want to determine an angle size and you already have all three side lengths. Let's go and have a look at a few examples. Example 1. In triangle ABC, AC is 28 centimeters, BC 22 centimeters, and angle C 97 degrees. Calculate the length of AB. From the information, we've received two sides as well as the included angle. So even though we have a pair that we can work with, we cannot use the sin rule because we ha don't have a second complete pair that we can use. This means we will be using the cos rule because we have two sides and the included angle. The cos rule then starts with the side that we want to determine, in our case side C, squared. This will then be equal to the other two sides squared and added up, which will be b squared and a squared. From this, we then subtract 2 times the product of b and a, multiplied with cos of the included angle, which in our case is angle c. This process to be able to change the cos rule to fit the letters in your triangle is very important. Therefore, you need to always remember that the side on the left of the formula and the angle used on the right always form a pair. Now we can substitute all the given information and we know that B is 28, A is 22 and now we subtract 2 multiplied with the values of B and A multiplied with cos of 97. The right-hand side can then be calculated as 1418,143 and to get the final value for C, we need to take the square root of this and that will be 37,66 centimeters. Example 2. In triangle DEF, DE is 6, DF 8, and EF9. Calculate the size of angle D. Here we are given all three side lengths but no information about any angles and that means the sin rule will not be possible so once again we'll be using the cos rule. When rewriting the cos rule to fit your triangle you need to once again remember that the side on the left and the angle on the right will always form a pair and in our case, that will be pair D. So when rewriting this cos rule, we will start with side D squared on the left. And that will be equal to the sum of the other two sides squared. So E squared plus F squared minus two times the product of the other two sides multiplied by cos of angle D. Now we can substitute our information and we were given that D is 9, E was given as 8 and F as 6. 
then we subtract 2 times E multiplied by F and that multiplied with cos of D. Next we want to get cos D alone but here it's important to realize that the minus 2 times 8 times 6 is multiplied to cos D and then forms one term. Therefore I'm going to start off subtracting the 8 squared and the 6 squared on the left because they are two separate terms. And to get cos D completely alone on the right, I'm going to divide by the rest of that term. And now on the right hand side, I'm left with only cos D. Cos D is then equal to 0, 0,1979. And if I now press shift cos of this 0, 0,1979 on my calculator, I will get a reference angle with which the first quadrant answer will then be 78,58 degrees. And because we are working with cos and the second option for cos will be in the fourth quadrant, we do not need to calculate it because any angle size in the fourth quadrant cannot form part of a triangle. There is therefore only the one solution for D and that is 78,58 degrees. Example 3. In triangle MNO, MN is 7, NO 9 and MO 14. Calculate the size of angle N. Once again we are given only the three side lengths and therefore we are going to use the cos rule. So if I again focus on my pair of side and angle, in our case N, the cos rule will start with n squared and that will be equal to the other two sides squared and added m squared plus o squared minus 2 times the product of m and o multiplied by cos of angle n. Next we can substitute the given information and then get cos n alone on the one side and simplify. Here you will get a negative value when simplified and this minus indicates that we will work in the quadrants where cos is negative so that will be the second and third quadrant. This is why we are going to use our reference angle to determine a value for n in the second quadrant and this will be our only answer for n because the third quadrant has angles bigger than 180 degrees that cannot form part of a triangle. Therefore, N is 121,59 degrees.